Hi guys, welcome to my channel Practical Reefer. My name is Mark um, and this is week 9 of my 20 gallon budget nano reef tank build. So the aim of the build, um, or the challenge I've set myself, is to build a 20 gallon reef tank, all the kit, um, all your maintenance equipment, testing equipment, um, cleaning equipment, water change stuff, um, all for £500 for the year. Um, there's a little bit of food in there as well and cocoa pods and things that I've priced in. Um, the only thing I'm not including that would be the, the stand at the bottom there. Um, obviously it's a piece of furniture in your home so it could be very personal choice. Um, you could either DIY it or you could do something. I mean this is a clear seal stand that I had available. Um, the hood is something that I've made myself for about £50. I'm going to be spray painting that um, black on the outside possibly. Um, definitely white on the inside to reflect some of the light and just waterproof it a little bit. Um, it is 500mm tall, it's, it's quite huge but it allows me to play with the hanging heights of the part 38 bulbs that we're about to discuss. Um, so that's something it might, I could make a smaller one in future if I don't need to hang them quite so high, but it gives me that option to start with. Um, so it's kind of, a, the hood's a bit of a test as well with the canopy. Um, and then also the livestock, fish, corals, um, inverts, it's all personal choice really. Um, and depending where you get them from, they can cost all sorts. And you know, you might. I've got two clowns with fish there for thirty pounds. You could go and spend hundreds of pounds on a pair as well. So, um, this is this is the kit that you need to get started. Um, so today, I'm going to be showing you how I plan to light my twenty gallon tank. Um, it's going to divide opinion a bit, but what I will say, it's very much a, a test. Um, I see hundreds of these adverts for you know Amazon, eBay. AliExpress, um, Wish, or you know, all over the shop, but you know, we've got par 38 bulbs that will grow coral. So, the plan is to, to take those and test them and see how well they do. Now, the, there is an option here. I mean, potentially, you know, if you want to start with a reef tank, you can have all the life of a reef tank um, and you could grow a beautiful macroalgae display tank. And I pretty much guarantee you that these bulbs will grow macroalgae. Um, no doubts about that. Macroalgae do have care requirements as well. They're not just um, totally easy. You know they do have requirements, but pretty pretty guaranteed these will these will do the job. Um, but my aim is to grow a soft coral reef tank, and I will have macroalgae in my display as well. I do have will have a mix of macroalgae and corals, but there will be a couple of macroalgae dotted about just to help with some phosphates and nitrates possibly, and a bit, a bit of habitat for copepods and add a bit of variety to the tank. But the majority will be soft corals, so like zoanthids and um, cloak polyps, mushrooms, uh, GSP, things like that. So it's not a top end tank and you know they aren't top end bulbs, definitely not. Um, so the, and the plan is to test it and show you my results. I see like Inappropriate Reefer's budget uh, build was great and he ran that for I think it was a year or two and he grew great corals with a little uh, Aquanite Hypogero um, 30 watt box light with the two pucks in it, or I think it's three actually. Um, and that was fantastic and he, he showed his results. However, I do see um, some builds where they're like, this is all the kit you need to run a reef tank, or maybe a little 10 gallon budget build and they show you a light and then they show you the light over an empty tank and then they say, there's all the kit you need and then off you go. Um, there's no six months later, 12 months later with the tank actually built up. Um, it was just a sort of, here's an idea. So the plan with these is to, to get them above the tank, get them on um, and test them. And obviously don't go out buying these bulbs. Let's let's see what happens in six months, 12 months time. I'll give you an honest review on them and we'll, we'll see how we go. Um, very much an entry level foot in the door and the hope is that they'll do a soft coral reef tank. Um, there will be some limitations. The big thing, uh, there's a lot of chat in the forums about hanging height. There's actually a quite a good table that I found online which suggests based on the, the the angle of the, the lenses, so if they're 90 degree or 120 or 60 degree even, um, try and avoid those because I mean these are very much spotlights but 60 degrees the much narrower beam of the, the three. Um, these are, uh, I think they're 120 degrees so they're quite a wide beam. Um, as to, to still, I'm going to have them a foot above the tank just to, to get enough spread. Um, there probably will be a slight bright spot still um, but the, it will light the whole tank. Um, so. The, the plan is to get them testing. I'll show you the results over time, um, and if not, there'll be a good reference point to save some people some money and show that they aren't that great or they don't work or um, what they can and can't do is, is what the aim is going to be. So these bulbs themselves, um, I've just got a couple of notes here because there's quite a bit to it. Um, 
I mean, I, part of the, the thing is as well, I, I grew soft coral with two 55 watt PC power compact bulbs back in the day in a Red Sea Max 130. So nearly 15 years later with 55 watts, or sorry, 54 watts of LEDs, I'm sure there's enough power there to do the job, but that's not the only consideration. Um, it's about the spectrum as well and the spread um, and controllability as well, but we'll go into that. So these come with 18 3 watt LEDs um, and they're about, for two of these you can get them for about 33, 34 pounds on eBay. So you've got four 14K cool whites, two 6.5K warm whites, eight 460 nanometer blue bulbs, uh, four, I'm sorry, two 420 nanometer UVs, and then you've got one red at 630 and one green at 520 nanometers. So, going by the ad, it's got the absolute perfect spectrum, it's got everything you need to grow corals. And I have heard people discussing growing SPS with these, but uh, we'll see. Um, my plan is to grow soft coral with them, and we'll, we'll, we'll take it from there. Um, but yeah, some people, I mean, they do have a bright spot in the middle, so they, they might, might do the job. Um, but again, I've not seen really good documents of someone saying, here's my tank in January 2020, and here's my tank in January 2021, and look how well the coral's grown, and this is how many bulbs I've used and things like that. So two of these for £30-£34, and then two bulb holders, or lamp holders, so it's an E27 bulb, oh, I've had the uh, little protector on there, so it's an E27 bulb. Um, I've got two of these for they're about five five fifty off of um, eBay as well. If you buy a couple at the same time, you'll get them cheaper. So for your for the lighting option that I've got there, we're talking forty four pounds. Um, going by the ad, absolutely brilliant spectrum. They also show you a, a graph on the ad, which is either stolen or copied. And it actually some of them actually say the king bow bulb below, and it's got the perfect spectrum for um, reef keeping a coral growing. Uh, but we'll we'll test that and we'll see. Um, let's not just believe everything that they've got in the ad. Um, so it all sounds great, um, but the idea is to test it and see. And it's very much a foot in the door. Um, one light that I did see that I was attempted by was the, the Max Spike Jump LEDs, which have come out in the past year. Um, very, very good light, budget light, but it's about £210. Uh, and it'll cover a, pretty much a two foot cube. Probably ideal for this sort of two foot by uh, 16 inches or 600 mil by 400 mil. Um, it'd be perfect for that. And that comes with a mountain arm as well. So probably about 50 pound cheaper than the I Prime there, but that's coming from Max Spec. Um, so that, that's a good potential. I looked at black boxes as well. Um, they were pretty much pretty, pretty happy that they would do the job, um, but I thought I'd give this a test. Um, I've seen plenty of people growing coral with black boxes that I'm, I've, I've got no concerns that they can do the job. Obviously there's different variances and different brands or, or different ones that you get. Um, I looked at the Lumini Asta S20, um, I think it's probably only really good for maybe a five gallon or less, like little Picos. Um, and there's the like the Hypogero um, one that an appropriate reefer uses, wouldn't really work for this sort of tank, it's 20 gallons, so I probably need two of them and I've got hang on back kit as well, so that the mountain bracket wouldn't really work. Tunzi do a couple of good um, full spectrum lights, um, not just the, the refugium ones, there's a, I think it's an 8850 and an 8811 if I, if I remember correctly, um, and they would do maybe up to a 10 gallon tank with soft corals, but again you're, you're probably about 120 quid or so, so I'd almost be tempted to just you know get something, you know you're, you're getting towards that price of you could just buy a, a branded light which would hang above the tank, so, so that's the plan there, um, going to use these. The advert says they've absolutely everything I need to grow corals. We'll test it, we'll see. Um, but yeah, there's enough, certainly enough power there. In terms of controllability, there's none. These are going to go into a timer, so they'll probably come on in, like later in the morning once the, the sun's up, um, so there's no shock for the, the fish and things. And then they'll go off before the end of the day as well. Um, I think that's really covered it. It's, going by the advert, it's a brilliant bulb. But we'll test it and we'll see. I've no doubt there'll be a bit of a spotlight effect and then the, the light will dim off as we go out a little bit. Um, but I think two of these, there'll be maybe two sort of brighter spots and then it'll, um, the middle should be pretty decent um, and then maybe round the edges. But we'll see. And then the plant, I mean, in the lower reaches of the tank and those sort of bits, they'll be looking at mushrooms and things anyway. So it might actually do quite well. Um, but we'll get them on the tank and I'll let you see them. So this is the, the canopy that I've made for my tank. So that 
front piece there is just to give it a bit of stability and for the, the front to, to hang off of it. Um, and then at the back there I've got a back brace which has had a little bit cut out of it just for the ATO to fit. So I've got the, now I've got the one and a half litre bottle on there. So that's the two bulbs. Um, now they are screwed through a piece of three millimetre white face ply. Uh, and then that allows the three mils and a half. I was going to use six mils because I had some spare but it didn't quite allow the bulb to screw all the way in. So that's it fitted in there. A couple of extra holes. I could maybe add a, a third bulb in the middle and you know space those out a little bit further if I wanted to to, to get a sort of more even spread. Um, but that's the that's the bulbs in place there. I'll get the, the front on back on the hood and we'll get these switched on. So guys here we are. This is the, the tank now lit with the, the two bulbs that I've got. Um, so again 254 watt par 38. It is very very well lit and unfortunately it's a bit of a glare fest on the, the front facing camera. Someone needs to buy himself um, the Orphic lenses he was planning to buy. Um, wasn't really an urgent thing for me to buy and I didn't really think of about, about it until um, I turned the camera on to this. Um, so hopefully that will help take some of the glare out and give me some better uh, footage. Um, but yeah, so it looks very well lit. There's definitely a, a bit of a bright spot on uh, one side and the other. You can't really see it with this camera here and it's just a little bit dimmer in the middle. What I do want to do is get myself a power meter and a spectrometer to you know give some proper hard numbers on it. Um, although it's quite an expensive piece of kit to buy and it's not really anywhere. I don't think I can buy it or rent it locally. Um, so that's something I'll look into as we go. What I'll do, I'll start with a bit of GSP, start easy, and then we'll build our way up to something a bit more expensive. You know, I can get a bit of GSP for a tenner um, and I plan to put GSP on one of these arteries at the bottom. So I'll kick off one of those and then we'll just build our way up and, and see what works and what doesn't. And again, it's a test, um, so we'll see how we get on. One thing I would say about the canopy, I've not priced that in, and maybe people feel the build's a bit short, but what you could do, you know, you could, um, the other option if you want to build a canopy um, is to not buy the bulb holders and buy a couple of uh, aquarium goosenecks. When I say aquarium ones, I mean a bit more heavy duty because they're quite hefty bulbs. It's not the sort of thing you put in your desk lamp or something like that, or a bedside lamp. Um, so that you know you maybe 15 20 quid for a gooseneck so you'd need a couple of those um, or you know if you had you know if this is in an alcove and there was a shelf above it you know you could hang your bulb holder from there um, and try and make, or you could use you could almost use some people use lamps for things like this as well so it actually looks fitting in with a room um, or if it's you know if, like me it's in an office you could do something a bit DIY with a, a much smaller sort of idea because the, the idea of this is kind of it has the potential to hold the weight of a, a full-size black box as well without any problems. Um, so th there's other options there. This is what I went with for me because I'm going to be sitting there as well, so I didn't want much of the glare coming over. Um, but if you say you had a shelf above you, you could hang the, the bulbs from there, or you could use a couple of wall brackets um, and hang the bulbs from those. So it'd be a much smaller, you know, they wouldn't have you know this big box on top. For me, with the canopy, it is quite big, but I can slide it back to get right into the tank and I can slide it forward to take the hang on backs off, no problem as well. So even though it's a big bit of kit, it's not going to cause me any issues. What I'll do, I'll, uh, I'll spin the camera around and see if it's any better with the, the main camera um, and we'll, we'll have a look at it there. So there we go guys, that's with the, the main camera. Now, it's gone a little bit the other way. Um, there definitely is a bright spot to the, the left and the right but it probably isn't as pronounced as what you can see on the, the camera there or what I can see on the screen. Um, it's still very, that, that big flat face in the middle is still very well lit. Um, but there definitely is a, a slight, there is a difference in brightness. Um, as I say, these are these are spotlights. But I think there is enough spread there and there's enough. But we're here to test it. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'd love to hear, has anyone else used PAR 38s or do they have any experience with them or... Um, stories of you know success or fails with them. Um, this is what I struggled to find was really good documented evidence of someone using PAR 38s rather than lots of you know this is how you use it, this is what to use. Um, so so my, at the end of this I'm gonna have a you know when I first had a coral in probably April May 2021 and then in six 12 months time we'll have a year of PAR 38s in April May 2022. So we'll document it and we'll, we'll give, I'll give you an honest review. We're either going to find it worked pretty well, does the job. Um, we don't have the adjustability of turning blues up and down and whites up and down. It is what it is. Um, but I think it should do the job. But we'll test it. We'll see. Um, give me a little comment below. See what you think. 
um, give me a little like and subscribe. Thank you to all my new subscribers as well, guys. It's uh, much appreciated. Um, and I'll catch you all next time when I'm going to price all this kit together. Now that I've built everything, it's all in place. I'm now going to just go through a list of everything that I've put into the tank so far, um, plus some of the maintenance kit, which I maybe haven't shown quite yet. Um, so there's a, there's a few extra bits and pieces in that £500. But I'll cover all that next week, and I'll catch you all next time. Thanks for watching.